Look, look at all these lenses. Well, good news for you is that realistically, you only need like two of these. In this video, we're gonna show you the two best focal lengths that you'll want in your camera bag, whether you're out on a shoot or just starting out your photography or video adventures. Cheers to that. What is shaking, my camera nerds? My name is Matt and welcome to Viva Media. If you want to see more videos talking about lenses, cameras, and everything in between, please consider subscribing to our channel and kissing that like button. Lenses, optics, glass, whatever you want to call them, they are the first thing that your image goes through before hitting the sensor on your camera. We're going to show you the optimal focal lengths that you're going to want on set to cover most of your bases in terms of composition and focal reach. We have a wide selection of lenses here, but there are definitely a few that are my favorite. Of course, your style of shooting, your camera, your setup is going to dictate what lens you should ultimately go with. But I think, in my mind, there is a basic and standard set you should have to cover almost every situation. The first of which being the classic 24-70 f2.8. We specifically have the Sigma 24-70 f2.8 DG lens in EF or Canon mount. The focal length is 24 to 70. That means at its widest, it is 24 millimeter. And it also doubles as a great F number for relatively low light situations. At 24 millimeters, you have a relatively wide lens and at 70, you have a relatively telephoto lens. So this kind of covers all your bases and everything in between. For example, if you had a prime kit with three lenses, let's say a 24 millimeter, a 35 millimeter, and a 50 millimeter, this lens covers all three of those. Not to mention, we particularly like the Sigma 24 to 70 because it has something called optical stabilization, which basically reduces micro shakes and jitters optically, which you might get on set. This lens also offers full frame coverage. That means you can use this lens on a crop all the way up to a full frame camera without getting any kind of vignetting. So all that to say the first lens I would put in my kit, if I only had to pick two, would be the Sigma 24-70 f2.8 DG lens. You're so good to me, baby. The second lens we would put in our kit, this one is the 70-200 to f2.8 DG lens. You can tell we're big fans of Sigma over here. Piggybacking on all the things we like about the 24 to 70, that is brought over to the 70 to 200. Again, we've got things like optical stabilization built right into the lens. We've got an EF mount. This is a full frame lens, so it covers cameras all the way from crop up to full frame without any vignetting. And we've got a super common usable focal range from 70 millimeters all the way to 200 millimeters. Now, the best part of these two lenses is when you pair them together because you might notice something similar between the two. These both cover up to 70 millimeters and that means between these two lenses you have a full focal range coverage from 24 all the way to 200 millimeters f 2.8 constantly all the way through. So to me, these are the winners. Whether you run a full frame setup, whether you run a crop setup, whether you run a cinema camera setup, if I had to pick just two lenses to keep in my kit for the rest of time, it would be these two. And I love you for it. Side note, and a close runner up for all you crop sensor shooters out there, would be the Sigma 18-35 f1.8 and the Sigma 50-100 f1.8 lens. And there you go. Of course, you can expand this list of lenses as you get more experience or run into different shoot scenarios or you want to shoot different styles of video like macro photography or portraits or whatever this shoots. But if you're armed with these two lenses, you can be rest assured that you are pretty much good for almost any scenario you will be put in. As always, thank you for watching. My name is Matt, we are Viva Media, and we will catch you in the next video. Hey look, a little portal gun. You know what's better than a little portal gun? A big portal gun. This is a triumph. I'm making a note here. Huge success.